So I'm going to show you today how I dehair cashmere. Uh, you can see it's this is what I've combed out from the goats this morning and I first start just kind of it's not rocket science it's just a matter of literally pulling the hairs out. Um, I usually you can see I have some kind of container below me. You may see my dog wander in and out of the camera here. I don't know if she's showing up on it or not. And I try to not squeeze too hard in my left hand. I'm right-handed. And I just kind of rotate it around and start picking hairs. Um, I have found that um, it's um, good to have good light. It shows the hairs up better. Um, also at the same time, this particular um, bunch does not have a lot of vegetative matter in and usually I find there's a little teeny piece right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but usually there's not too much of that in there. Um, but I, I use good light. helps to show the hairs up a little better. Um, this is the one way that I do it. If I'm inside I get a bowl or sometimes I just put a old uh, pillowcase over my lap and start pulling hairs. Um, the other way that's probably my f favorite way or better way, it's just that it doesn't lend itself to all season, is um, to be outside on a sunny day when it's um, there's a little more vegetative matter there. Um, sunny day when there's a slight breeze and the little guard hairs that I'm pulling out, um, which is the outer coat, there's some more v vegetative matter or VM. Um, when it's really sunny, these little hairs almost sparkle. So they're really easy to pick out and then the uh, slight breeze just takes them away. You can see there's some little neps you might call them or just little little teeny things that are pieces of the fiber. I just pull those out because they're just going to be a nuisance when you go to spin. And I just, like I said, it's not really rocket science. Um, when I'm outdoors and doing this, I usually go into one of the pastures and walk my dog at the same time and walk around and get some of this and entertains me as I walk around. Do or try to remember to look up every so often so I don't fall down. But that's that's what you do. It's just not it's tedious. Um, although you know, like anything like this in fiber, some of the times the tedious things can be almost meditative. Um, and so I don't really mind it that much. It just takes a very long time to do. So that's your little tutorial today on de-herring your goat's cashmere.